Good afternoon everyone, welcome to Until Dawn. My name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addicts, and if it's working right, you should be seeing my face in the corner. Yay! Okay, yes, so it's been a while since I played a horror game on my channel, and we are going to jump in straight in with this PlayStation 4 exclusive. <sighs> and I can tell you I can tell you this much, I'm looking forward to this. Even the title screen was a fucking jump scare. I'm not kidding you, like it was like really quiet, really quiet, then bang! Until dawn. I should have been recording that to get the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. New story. Excuse me if I keep knocking my mic, it's like really close to my face. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Yes, we all saw the terrible Ashton Kutcher film. Sorry, stop wobbling. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. So yes, your story is one of many possibilities. Cool. Choose your actions carefully. So basically you can go through this game like as many times as you want, and chances are you probably have a slightly different story each time. Oh, it's a cabin in the snowy woods. Turn the volume up in my earphones. Because why not? I gotta say, the graphics are fantastic. Uh oh. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Hannah! <laughs> so we're already establishing that the sexy teens involved in this are a bunch of dickheads. Mike. Josh. Alright, I'm in control now. Okay, so it's kind of fixed perspective cameras. I'm gonna move around slightly, alter the camera slightly. Slightly. Stop saying slightly. Oh, I love that sofa. I, I want that sofa for my gaming room. Can we interact with things? Sure, use the right stick to look around objects that glint can be inspected. Oh, there we go, X. Press and hold R2 to pick up the bottle. And use the right stick to turn around. Jeremiah Craig! Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. <laughs> okay. So look. God, this game looks fantastic. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything else. Oh, hang on. Whoa, there we go. Hmm, the door is locked. Maybe we need the Masters of Unlocking to help us. Resident Evil joke for you all there. Actually, 
It's still glinting, so it's obviously... No. Alright, okay, so we can't do anything with that. Let's go down this way, towards the camera. The other side of the fireplace. We're in the dining room, it looks like. A nice cabin. The silence is jarring. <laughs> I'm not used to games starting this quietly. She's looking over here. No, it doesn't appear to be anything there. Right, oh. Let's try the big double doors at the back. She does keep looking over in this direction. I wonder if that's just... Alright, no, we're back in cutscene. Right, what's it say? Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2am, Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? So it's all family. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. <laughs> For fuck's sake. What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand. Just a stupid prank. Uh, uh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? As prank school, that was a pretty fucking lame one. Uh, wake Josh. 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 Fuck. <laughs> Guys, there's someone outside. This is a fucking hell of a cabin. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! Am I gonna have to look for Hannah now? Should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press the correct button oh, before shit. the timer runs out. Okay, square. We're in quick time event territory here. Uh, fast. Right stick. Someone's so skinny, she's not very fit. Follow footprints. These are going to be the wrong footprints to follow, aren't they? Uh huh. Oh. Jesus! Fuck! Shit! Hey, that's my line for when things get scary. Touchpad is shown. <laughs> have to unlock the iPhone. Stairs update. You can direct the light beam using the right stick. Oh, okay. That's, this is pretty cool, actually. I suppose it's fully embracing modern teenagers. I always had it in my head that it was maybe more like a 1980s. Oh, shit. Fucking game. Hold L1 for Yeah, we'll walk faster. Yeah, I kind of had it in my head that because it pays so much homage to 80s Hello. horror films that it was going to be like set in the 80s. Maybe I've just been playing Everybody's Gone to the Rapture too much. What the fuck is that? A death totem. 
What was that? Totem prophecies, black death, the possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that but bl butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies will come true. As you unlock totems, events of the past will become clear. Okay. That was weird. So we're going to unlock kind of memories. Yeah, let's uh, move a bit faster. This is a bit Anna. creepy. Is a gorgeous game, though. Whoa! What the fuck? I don't want to look up there. That hammer there. Hannah. Hannah. Hello. Hannah. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Predator? Hannah? <gasps> Some exchasing us! Hannah! What the fuck is going on? There goes the phone. Edge of the cliff, and all better run! Whoa! Uh, what are we... What's Hold with the on. fire? Hold on! Whoa! What the fuck are you? Uh, I, I... Let go. Oh, 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 fuck. Jesus Christ. That wasn't a good start, was it? And what, ten minutes of the game? I've already killed two. The analyst, Dr. A.J. Hill. Is this Peter Stormare? It Before is. Before we begin... There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you play your game, every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. <laughs> All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. So I'm in control here. Scarecrow. It was a barn. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, makes me feel a little bit uneasy, actually. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? I've watched too many horror films. 
I'm not sure. If it is something you cannot see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? Not being psychologically profiled at this point. Is there something in the house? Huh. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? Can it be in the field? Yeah, we'll say it's in the field. Wow. I see. And is this threat human or is there some other fear that you had that you would like to talk to me about? Um It's not human? An inhuman threat. That's fascinating. Ah oh, well. Perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. <laughs> so he's the analyst. Also delightfully unhinged. Uh-huh. Okay, Sony Computer Entertainment presents. Oh, death. Okay, so I've got high hopes for this game. Intro was promising. Although I appear to have lost two sexy teenagers already. Hayden Panettiere. That's it, that's the blonde girl, isn't it? Peter Stormhair. That is music. Red Dawn, Rami Malek. Don't know these people. Adriel Steinman, Noah Fleiss, Jordan Fisher, Nicole Dean. I don't know who any of these people are. Aiden Pettier and Peter Stormare are the only ones I've encountered before. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listen, there's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My oh, a sanatorium. Grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! No! <laughs> so um, let me just Dick. let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know. You're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. 
I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, I don't like share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget all right yes <laughs> yeah I really don't like this guy I get the significance of having a party the year after, like to carry on a tradition, but really partying like porn stars? I need to get this song, I like this song a lot. It's like pop folk powery kind of thing. Amy Van Rook, I'll have to go find it. Blackwood Pines. <laughs> Memento Mori. Ten hours till dawn. Okay, so with the title being Until Dawn, I'm assuming that means the game's about 10 hours long. Oh god, he's already here! I wonder if I can actually make it Until Dawn. I wonder if I can get anybody to survive that long. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Considerate, diligent, adventurous. Okay. Path to Cable Car Station, 2102. Okay. Use the right. Yes, I know I can use the right stick to move the camera. We've established that earlier on. Okay, so there's the main gates. The gate's busted, climb over. <sighs> Damn it. Um, oh, yeah. Jesus, never mind. <laughs> okay, so where do we climb over? Would that be here? Yeah, it would be. Uh, we'll go safe. Square. Circle. Climb. Triangle. Square. Yeah, be careful. She can't be laddering her tight. Woo! God, he's already watching. Let's uh, move a bit faster. This is the path to the cable car. Aww. Hey, little fella. Right, well, don't move icon is on screen. Huh? Place the controller as still as possible. <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> well, she looks happy with herself. You're unsure what to do next. You can see your current objective by pressing R1. Current objective, head to the cable car station. Oh, we have relationship statuses. So she's down the middle with everybody. Okay. This is kind of... If it wasn't for the constant threat of being murdered, this place would seem rather idyllic. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The colour of the butterfly indicate the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesize the dream as death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold tragedy events, tragedy affecting friends. 
guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of good luck and good fortune. Alright. Okay. Well, let me pick it up then. Get rid of the fucking tutorial screen. Alright, there we go. Turn it around. A yellow butterfly. Okay, so it's a guidance totem. Indigenous tribes of the but uh, how you determine whether or not these prophecies come true? Events of the past will become clear. Okay, so we have one guidance totem. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Press R1 at any time to view your totem collection. Okay, let's have a look at this sign. The past is beyond our control. All the way up here. Okay. Chris, are you here? Mount Madahi. Right, well, we're at the fucking cable car. There's a backpack. So someone is here. Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? It's Sam's phone. Uh, no, we'll just close the bag. We're, we're not going to snoop. Butterfly effect appears and your actions have changed the narrative of the game. Okay. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, methodical. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Blow your mind. I highly doubt that, but all right. Let me interact with this. Wanted. Oh, Victor Milgram. Nice. Sex male, height 6'2", last known address, Blackwood Pines. Wanted in connection with the first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constabulary, Police Monte Provincial de Blackwood, July 98. Alright. So press R1 to examine the clues. Nothing I can do much with that right now. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? A rifle. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, it's a good have question. Have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Just wave that shotgun around. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we're playing as Chris. Here goes. Alright, so is there shooting involved in this game then? Got it yet. Uh, huh? That one down here. And that one right up here. Oh, we have a time limit on these as well. Boom! Nice shooting ticks. All right. Nice shooting ticks. I'm, I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Got that one. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, no, I don't have to kill the fucking squirrel, do I? No, I'm not going to shoot the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Teenagers hey, are idiots. Ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I'm not going to, uh... Bear in mind that we stopped before and, you know, fed that little squirrel. I'm not going to have him kill her. I'm assuming it's a her. I have no idea why. I know fuck all about squirrels. Yeah, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Hey, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He, he said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Yep. Very creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Sarcastic bitch. <laughs> okay, so I say we'll get the cable car up to the point where we're in the ha in the lodge, and we'll call that an episode. Obviously, not a lot's happened. We're still setting the scene. I thought the car was closer. Yeah, Guess turn around. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. Backwood How Pines Hotel and Sanatorium for a healthy body and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bought them out. It's got a bit of a shining feel to it, doesn't it? Alright. Huh? What was that? That's someone at the front. Anything else we can interact with in here? No, 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 nothing. Ah, the cable car is here. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. And did we lock the door when we came back in? Doesn't matter. We can't do anything with it. So I'm assuming we must have. Enter the car. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. And right. they're off. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. Of course it's not. Him and Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, and I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <clears throat> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. That's a funny oh, way of looking at timelines. Butterfly. Especially when you bring training bras into it. Okay, so we should be... reaching the top. Yeah, there we are. Oh, and we have more people waiting at the top for us. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Okay, yeah, she's probably going to be the first to die, I reckon. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Right, okay, I'm going to leave this here for now. So if you enjoyed this, please do leave a like and subscribe. And come back next time for the second part of Until Dawn. For now, thank you for watching, and good night.